Yo, what's good, Joe? Welcome back to another video. I should be saying, welcome myself back, right? I should be really welcome myself back because it's been five or six months since I recorded or even uploaded a video here on the YouTube, right? I don't know why I said the YouTube, but uh, YouTube. Um, last series we did, it was um, simming 20 years in the future in Madden. It was... Not a really, really good series. I didn't even enjoy playing that, uploading that. I didn't enjoy anything about it. But I just did it just to, you know, just get it out there, I guess. And now we're going to do something different. We're going to do, we're going to send five or ten years. I think I'm going with five. Because five, ten, might, you might see a lot of players out. Five, I think you'll still see some players you know in and bring some other players, um... Bring some people like in these upcoming draft classes in the league too. So that would be kind of cool to see um, where they progress and where things are in the next five years. Uh, everything is on auto. I can show you. I put all of my franchise settings on auto because we're not really going to be playing. Nothing is going to be affected. Where is it? Uh, yeah, you see everything? Auto, just everything. Auto. So we're just going to sim basically five years. We're just going to see year to year where things pan out. Who wins the Super Bowl in these next five years? It's not going to really matter. I guess it is going to matter a little bit. There's not going to be any gameplay in this um, series, at least. Yeah, we're not going to watch no gameplay. Maybe. Would it be cool if we watch kind of like the, the Super Bowls? Like at least the last couple of plays of the Super Bowls? I might do that. Would it be too much, though? I don't know. I kind of want to do that. And Packers don't make the playoffs in this season. Vikings go 11 and 6. Good for Vikings. We're going to send to the Super Bowl. But yeah, I'm going to um, either just pick up the lowest overall team or the, the Chargers and the Eagles. Interesting. This is a weird timeline. Eagles take a 10 point lead. Chargers strike back. Eagles, another touchdown. Eagles just running away with it at this point. Yeah, Eagles just win. <laughs> That's it. Eagles dominate the Super Bowl. Well, that was that. Um, that would be kind of cooler. You know, I thought it would be a more competitive game, but clearly the Eagles are really good in this game. Really good. See so one super MVP, most likely Jalen Hurts. Like, let's just be honest about it. No, I didn't even do the draft class. I got to choose draft class now. I forgot about that. Um, damn it. I forgot. What is it, 2024? 2023? Yeah, 2023. Who won on Super MVP? That's a Jalen Hurts, yeah. MVP, Jalen Hurts. Doug Peterson is the um, coach of the year of the Jags. Jalen Hurts, offensive player of the year. Josh Allen, linebacker, or oh, de defensive player of the year of the Jags. George Pickens, rookie of the year, offensive. And Devin Lloyd, rookie of the year. Interesting. Jags won a lot of awards. Jags and Eagles really definitely did that this year. So look at draft recap. Look at the entire league. Tyree Wilson goes number one. Bryce Young. This is what... Might happen in real life. We're in season two now. Gonna have to do this like three more times, I think. We're gonna always sim to mid season so we can import the next year's draft class. Moving on to uh, playoffs. Are Chargers slated to get in? Yeah, they're seven and zero. Holy fuck. 
is I almost said the Wizards. It's the um Commanders and the Bills. Very weird. Well, Bills not, but Commanders interesting. Um, I want to call them Wizards so bad, bro. They're not Wizards. They play in the same, I guess, state, but it's not the Wizards. Take a seven-point lead is the Commanders. Bills tied up. Bills take a, another lead. They take another. That's three straight scores. Four straight scores. Five straight scores. Six unanswered points. And the Commanders decide to finally answer back. And the Bills take another score. And Josh Allen wins a Super Bowl in the following year. Didn't mean to press that. So, two Super Bowl champs so far is the Eagles and the Bills. I mean, the favorites always win, right? See who is the uh, Super Bowl MVP. Von Miller. Interesting. I thought he would retire like last year, but no. If you look at MVP, Josh Allen. Doug Peterson somehow wins it again. Can you win coach of the year back to back years? Anyways, uh, Lamar Jackson, QB of the year, or offensive player of the year. Von Miller, de defensive player of the year, so that makes sense. CJ Stroud. Um, ah, oh, that's who they had, so that's what makes sense. And uh, Jalen Carter is defensive rookie of the year. Or Javon Carter. It was one of those names. Can't remember. Can't tell you who any of these people is, but this is who some teams got. Maybe these, maybe you football types know. I don't, I don't, I don't know any of these guys. What do you lie? Highest overall is seventy-eight. Not very good. Not very good. Super Bowl is Ravens and Vikings. So far, it has never had a um. A back-to-back -back appearance for anybody. It's been Eagles, Chargers, Commanders, Bills, and now Vikings, Ravens. Vikings, seven-point lead. Ten-point lead now. They strike back with six somehow. And weird game. Um... I'll decide who jumps in. I'm gonna say yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's jump in. Here we have a game winning drive here. Not game winning, we'll game tying drive. Third and four. Third and flat. Mark Andrews, first down. No time for cutscenes. Or well, after cuts. Whatever. I would say after basket cuts. That's a 2K thing. It's decent running by this team. Not great, but you know, they're getting two yards here, three, four yards there. Passing here. Then you just hit Mark Andrews. Hit him for a little bit. Get two yards right there. And now this is probably four down territory. I would say I wouldn't. I don't think you would kick a field goal here. Big touchdown. Yeah, I think that was Devontae Parker, and it was pretty easy touchdown. Vikings are going to get the ball now after they tie this up. I was actually a. Really decent drive. A couple runs. Nothing exciting. Like, too big. And a couple throws. Got in the yards they needed. And they're going to get the ball tied 20 with about four. A little bit less than four to play. See if it can, you know, lead to a touchdown. Or lead to a game-winning drive. Because a couple first downs here, you would have to think. This is a game winning drive for Joe Bloom and the Minnesota Vikings. 
looks like a heavy run play here. And it is. Cook gets about seven, eight yards. Actually, six. Looks like another heavy run formation. Take the end around, and they're going to lose almost what they gained on that. A little bit of half what they gained on that, but it's going to be a third and seven. We look at the patch right A stop right here will be huge for the Ravens. And pretty easy. Look like a comeback route. Or was that David Cook on the, um, just out? Now nah, it looked like a little comeback. They get a first round there. Probably going to be one more play for the two-minute warning, and they're, like, a little ahead of midfield. End around. Got some yards. About seven right there. Six again. And there's a two-minute warning. Don't know who their kicker is, but who knows? He might be in field goal range. Not from here, but, you know, with a, maybe two more first downs, they could be in field goal range. Right there, there's your first down. Getting past the 50 at the 49. They're going to go hurry up. And just like that, they're just hitting the intermediate spots right there. Vikings are moving. They're not going to hurry up here. Interesting. I'm trying to skip this. It's not letting me. So they just might, I feel like they're just going to take a couple runs right here. There's no reason to really pass. Take your yards, force them to call timeouts, and possibly kick your field goal. See a safety coming down. So, trying to stop this run and bring more guys on the line. Motion. Pretty good run right there. We're going to bring it on the third and four. Easy run right here. A stop gives Ravens a chance. A first down kind of ends the game, honestly. And they actually get a stop, and they actually call timeout. So they're going to kick a field goal from 31. Pretty, I won't say easy, but makeable field goal. And a make they do. So Ravens are going to have, uh, obviously, less than a minute, about 59. No, they missed it. Oh, I thought they made it. Because I heard them say they missed it, and I'm like, mm, it didn't look like they missed it, but they definitely did. Ravens have no timeouts, though. You're going to have to go out of bounds eventually. Down to 30 seconds. Got to hit the sideline. He's going deep. No, no. I thought it was complete for a second. You got to work for something at the sideline. If not, we're just going to go to overtime. Is that good? No, we're out of bounds again. I think I, I go over the middle one time and spike. And he caught it, but yeah, no time. No time to run to the line, no time to spike, uh, you know, just bad. So, OT. Ravens win the toss. They will receive ball first. Vikings just missed a, you know, a clutch field goal, and Vikings aren't new to missing clutch field goals in the playoffs, so, you know. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Pretty good catch. Was that a first down? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Hitting the flat is going to be... I would say third down. No, it's going to be three. Still a fresh set of downs. Fairly fresh. Second and four. Here's a 
and just short of a first. How's it fourth still? Like it's closer. They're gonna run again. Yeah, not really seeing. I don't understand that uh, fourth and four run. And they're gonna be forced to play. I didn't really get what they were getting at there. Pretty good punt. Get some right ahead of the 20 out. All right, I'm 23. So, boom. Kind of saw him just cruise down the field, but, you know, getting stopped on third down, forcing yourself to kick a field goal. It wasn't a really long field goal. It was very makeable, but they did end up missing it. So, see if they're able to redeem themselves here. And not a very good decision to go with that catch. Only getting a yard. Might as well not even gain anything on that. Running, running, and he's getting it's a big loss. And that is a loss. Yeah, you you lost. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Yeah, just kick a field goal, go home. Don't even like, they're gonna ice him, I think. But it's from the one. Don't get me wrong, I would miss this field goal for sure, end game. But this is a. You could sneak this in if you really wanted to. And just like that, that's it, right? There's no. Yeah, they won the Super Bowl. Joe Bloom just held on to the ball for too long in those final minutes. And that's going to go one down as one of the chokiest things ever. First of all, you missed a field goal that could have essentially won you the game in regulation. And then you end up missing. um, Not missing. You end up getting sacked and fumbling the ball. Just held on it for too long. Just throw it away. Do it away. You were in cool. But, you know. They lose. Ravens won the Super Bowl. So people that have won Super Bowl, I didn't even check who Super Bowl MVP. Let's just say it was just Lamar, right? People won Super Bowl so far. Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. Those are like the top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL currently. Arguably, though, but, you know, whatever. We just finished year three. And we're only like 30 minutes in. You know, we're close to being finished. Ever. This is the last um, draft we're going to look at. The rest of them will not matter like that. And Arch Manning did go number one to the Eagles. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. And he was an 82 overall. Highest in the draft class? Yeah, highest in the draft class. Arch Manning. It's not going to matter, but I just want to see why did you guys, um, that wasn't his overall? Oh, it's down too. I was like, why did it say that then? Um, I just want to see his archetype, not archetype, his dev trait. Super sorry, X-Factor. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, um. I'm not mad at it. It's, it makes the game more fun. But, um, what am I clicking? Yeah, like I said, it's going to be the final time we do the draft. The rest of them are going to be automated. There's only two more, so. Wouldn't matter too much. We're going to advance to a uh, Super Bowl. See if Ravens can be the first team to repeat a Super Bowl appearance in this, um, Sim so far. You know what's weird? The Ravens could really most, I don't know, I don't want to say most likely. But I kind of do hope it happens just because, you know, there's just something different could happen in sport. They could lose Lamar Jackson. And that's crazy to me. Losing Lamar Jackson is absolutely nuts. And nope, they do not. But we do have Rookie of the Year. One of our players won Rookie of the Year. Either on offense or defense. This team is a very high overall. Holy fuck. 
I kind of would like to see who won Rookie of the Year. Caleb Williams. Uh, whatever. I was like, what? <laughs> MVP. So he won with the 8 and 9 Falcons. Um, we're in AFC. Ah, oh, we had a, um, a defensive rookie. We I mean, went six and eleven. No, didn't, didn't do that good. But we've got a defense rookie over here. Why am I looking at it? It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. I don't even I'm not even supposed to be looking at this stuff. I'm just wasting time. Okay, um, Cowboys and Browns now. I have a new team. Eleven and six, thirteen and four. Um uh, look into this. Uh ten point lead for the Cowboys, seventeen point lead. And yeah, Cowboys win. Let's just say that, Cowboys win. <laughs> That'd be crazy. To, they're not gonna come back. It's yeah, it's over. That's a crazy win. Forty-eight to thirteen. That Prescott has a fucking fabulous game. Three three hundred twenty-seven yards, four touchdowns. Super MVP, Dak Prescott, most likely. If you win, get four touchdowns and you don't win Super MVP. I don't know what that says about you, man. I don't know what that says about you. Draft recap. Obviously, I'm not going to know anybody in this draft, but it wouldn't hurt to just to see um, who got a top pick or who got a top player in this draft and what their overalls were. Three QBs went in the top five, so business as usual. Cornerback was number one overall pick, and we'll see who's the highest rated. 78. It is what it is. And we're going to do, you know, one more year. And then that'll probably be the end of the video. We're going to go look at teams. But that'll be the end of the video, most likely. More than likely. Um, skip the Super Bowl. I think it's going to be a good series. I don't know how I'm going to play. I played a couple games of this uh, Madden 23. Uh, within the last couple weeks. It's not a horrible game, but it's not one of my favorite games. I could say that for sure. Uh, I didn't like last year's game a whole lot. I think they have something with this passing mechanic stuff, but the thing I think they need to fix, just for next year, wide receiver catching, Wide receiver and DB's animations, because it's like either your guy won't go for the ball on offense or defense, or swatting is kind of dumb. It's just some, some things that should happen for cornerback and DB animations just don't work. Coverage sometimes is broken. Thing in this game, corner routes and crossing routes, cross routes always get open, but that's just, it happens in real life too. But just things. Yeah, things just don't work how they should. It's going to be the last Super Bowl, and it's going to be a Raiders and Seahawks Super Bowl. Two teams we have not seen in this uh, thing yet. So, I mean, the theme continues of there are no repeats in this um, in this league, really. There's just no repeats. There's no repeat Super Bowl people. We're going to watch this, at least some of it. Take a lead is the uh, Raiders. Take a three, take three, and then they take the lead right back. I'm everywhere right now. So don't lose too fast for me. Tied it up at ten. No scores. Really, no scores, huh? I'm gonna jump in. I don't realize how much time is left. We can kind of just go to the next one. All right. Driving downfield. And then I'm going to punch it back to the Raiders. I think this is a point where we might want to jump in, since they do have ball right here. I think it would be a good spot to jump in, just watch a little bit, you know. Second and, nine now. and first play. Who's their quarterback again? I already forgot. He's getting sacked, though. 
Gonna push him back all the way to the 15 yard line. Third and 15 now. Gonna need a big play right here and he's gonna elect to dump it. And I think he got all that right back. I was like, oh, you went short, but he actually didn't go short at all. Just a nice 15 yard dump. Josh Jacobs, cute little run, about four yards on that one. If I'm them, I'm kind of running again. I will. And they do, smart. And it's gonna be a first. I thought that was a little short, but clearly not. Clearly a first down on it. And Nearly getting sacked. That was such a risky play. I don't know who this quarterback is, but he is playing out of his fucking mind right now. Not in a good way. And goes to the sideline. Boy, he stayed in, but... Oh, they're not going to count that in. Interesting. I would review that if I was them, but... Clearly, I'm not. So, going to need a first down here. Oh, you're going to have to punt again. And a big play downfield equals an incompletion downfield. They're going to... Have to punt. Got to rely on their defense for some stops against this Seahawks team. It's a pretty low scoring Super Bowl, and. Ah, it could have been a good punt if that ball had some backspin on it for it to bring it back a little bit, but. Must be some wind in here. See this quarterback who has no abilities, no nothing, just raw dog in life right now. And right over the middle to Mike Gesicki. Nice little seven yard gain on that. And we have a true clock on, so yeah, he's pretty much at midfield. Might be past midfield. No, he's like right ahead of midfield. As a two minute warning, just like that. So, I don't know. It's an interesting spot to be in. Because they're not quite in field goal range yet, but you would take a field goal if it was on a table to be given up. But you just don't really know. It's a good stop right there. Call timeout. Good call. Now you're going to be looking to run again because they want to meet keep that clock moving. So, if you're prepared for it, to get a stop. They run through it, and so you don't, you don't, you don't want that right there. He rolled over, probably gave himself a yard or two more, and you don't want that. You want to stop it immediately. And she's going to pass right here. He gets hit while he throws it, and ooh, it was almost insoled and also caught. So good defense by the Raiders. You leave yourself with a timeout. You're down by three. You have over a minute to get downfield. So... If your quarterback could come up clutch, you'll be in good hands. But, I mean, the way your quarterback has played that last drive that we saw, I don't know. Good throw. Got to hurry up. You don't want to call time on that spot. Just want to hurry it up. Good throw. Almost at midfield. You want to hurry up again. Get the first down again. Near midfield. Don't want to call a timeout yet. Down to 40 seconds. I think if you go over the middle again, you might call a timeout here. And he's going to actually use his legs. Go to the sideline. You might call a timeout here. They're not. Why didn't he just go to the sideline? And big catch. This is field goal range. This is where you call a timeout. Yeah. I take one shot to the end zone or I'm done. Has to be an end zone shot, though. Either has to be end zone or sideline shot. And they're not even going to take a shot. They're going to kick a field goal. So, <laughs> they're going to get iced, though. It's not guaranteed. I think we saw the, um, what team was this? What team did the Ravens face? We saw the Vikings in a similar spot. Probably a little further than they were, but yeah. 
they made it. It was, it was probably wasn't the same, like, close as they were, but it was in a similar spot, and they missed, so. They're gonna go to OT. I didn't even see who got the ball. I think the uh, Seahawks got it. I feel like the Seahawks... They should have ran on that third down and not have passed it. Because I think it was like third and seven. And that timeout that the Raiders had at the end kind of saved them. Like, I would say it saved them a hell of a lot. And you see what, the, what type of position they're in right now. You know, about to give up something. Could lose them a Super Bowl. Pretty easy. Just a little stop route. Um, no, I just what a stop route is. But you know, you run and stop. Just sit there and catch it. Sit down. Easy. Another first down. And they're moving them chains. Just hitting the good spots on the field. See what they could do here. I would say almost no pressure from this team, but right there to get the pressure right back. Second and 15. They elect to run. It's not a bad call. You gain five yards back right there. It's going to be third and 10. It's a completable ball. If this is me, it's four down territory. See? Yep. Definitely. Right here, I'm going for it. I'm not afraid to go for this. But they are. I'm I'm just not afraid to go from third and three or fourth and three from the 42. I'm just not. But it is a good punt, so put him on a nine. A safety could win the game, I think. So, you know, take that into consideration. A lot of people on this line right now. If they would have blitzed all of them, that would have been crazy. Ooh, oh, like I said, a safety could have won the game. And right there, that looked like it could have been the safety. You could have dragged him in the end zone. But it is second and five. See, like this Raiders team, they're getting in, but they're just not getting him down. Like, almost every time when he passes the ball, you see them almost get to him, but they're just not quite there. They need to be a little bit faster. A fake jet sweep and a big, not Kenneth Walker. Looked like it was a backup that time that got the carry. Where's Kenneth Walker? A lot of backup um minutes here. Well, snaps. Um, and an injury from Andrew Vanguard, I think that's it. Second and five. Like, every time if you notice, there's always somebody coming around the edge. Like, they're coming free around the edge. Like, look, right there. Like, if, if they just cover for a little bit longer. I didn't mean to do that. If they cover for a little bit longer, they're going to just have him sacked. And, you know, it's going to help out the... But they just can't cover for that long, I guess. It's not that long to cover. It's like a couple seconds. See, that time, good blocking. And even with the good blocking, they still played it good. And see, right here, short. Second and two. I would suspect them to run right here, but I wouldn't go all out on it. And they're not. And they don't. It's quick throws. And I think they lost the game. Yeah, pretty much lost game right here. I believe this is going to be a run. Nope, play action. See? There you go. That's that's exactly what I mean. They come so close to getting sacked, and they finally come up with a sack. Basically, kind of kicking them out of field goal range. I, I felt like this was about where the Vikings were when they missed that field goal. So, yeah, I would say they're out of field goal range. And, yeah, they kind of get those yards basically right back. Third and six or third and eight. 
very completable down for them right here. Hope for a sack, and that's exactly what they get. Knock them right back out of field goal range. Fourth and 15. Will they punt here? They're actually going to try to kick Minka field goal here. This would be a clutch kick and they ice him. Good ice. What is it from the 37? I think they missed their field goal from like the 42? I want to say so. About five yards back. We'll see. Kick is up. No good. Back to back Super Bowl. Well, not back to back. We 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 seen misses in this uh suit these Super Bowls a lot of times now, man. There we go, Jacobs. Getting about seven, eight. Yeah, I think they're just going to, if they could get the yard, then they're going to run the ball and just, you know, take it. Right there, and get the first down. I'll say they're coming on heavy for, running for, oh yeah, there's a running formation. I didn't even see him in the backfield. And they're just going to run the ball and get their first downs. Try to get into field goal range and kick their field goal and then just win the Super Bowl. Just like that. Pretty easy. Hand off to Josh Jacobs. Let him take you there. They're inside the 30 at this point. So maybe they want to get inside the 25 or at the 25. I think they want to get inside the 25. And I think that is going to be inside the 25. Yes, that's the owner 25 at this point. Might be another run. And there is going to be another run. That actually kind of got shut down right there. Only getting a yard or so on that. And this third and five. I'll run again. Because I'm just going to kick a field goal. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to kick a field goal. Like, it didn't matter that I didn't get the first down. And now you're going to ice me, which is, once again, perfectly fine. But I'm inside the 25. Almost at the 20. This is... A basic kind of field goal shot, and the kick is up. The kick is good. The Raiders win the Super Bowl. I would say the Raiders came up very clutch with uh, knocking them out of field goal range. Because if they did knock them out of field goal range, say it's an incomplete pass or just a run for a no gain or just a one yard, two yard gain, they don't win that game. They really don't. Really good defense by the Raiders, even though I didn't feel like their coverage was that good, but they made up for it when it was needed. Super MVP is, we'll check out the rest of the stuff. Uh, Caleb Williams, Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson has won Coach of the Year so many times, and I have not seen him in the Super Bowl. Cooper Cup, still winning awards. Chase Young, forgot about Chase Young. And the rest of the guys, we don't know. QB, Michael Perry. We say Perry or Parry? I don't know. So we will see where we end up. I do need to see the... I didn't... Can I check that still? I might... I forgot to check, like, the uh, worst team in the league. Because that's what I was going to go off. I forgot I said that. Any high overalls in this draft? No, just seven years. We haven't seen any, like, generational talents in this draft so far that weren't, like, handmade. Um, yeah, I could check. I could check. I could check. Okay, okay. So the Bears were the best. Jags, again, just up there. And the worst team in the league were the Texans, who had 13 losses. Jalen Waddle is here. Laramie Tunsil. Damian Pierce. Bryce Young would be my quarterback. That could be fun. Okay. 
No, this could be fun. It could really be fun. It could be very interesting. I want to change my name. I don't want to care about that shit right now. I was saying I want to change my name and how I look and whatever, but everything will be set up next. Um, Oh, we're still in the off-season, aren't we? No, we're still in pre-season. Because I saw um, free agency at the top. So, whatever. Um, We are here in the... What season is this? 2020... 2027. We're here in 2027. Like I said, five years later. And the league looks very weird and different. But, yeah. This is the team we are going to be rocking with. In the 2027 season. Pretty good team. Uh, Bryce Young. Kind of wanted to upgrade at running back. That's just the team, right? But we got we got good people, kind of. I wish Jane Water had like Star Devers. I'm oh, not Star Devers, Superstar. Um, we got things to work off, things to you know we could go off of, and we're gonna hope this is a good lasting series. Hope the game doesn't make me that mad where I don't want to play it anymore. It shouldn't, but you know things happen. But yeah, that is gonna do it for us. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to. Leave a like. It shows your support. Helps out a ton. Subscribe if you did enjoy that. Or did enjoy this video. It um is very appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. But until next video. Peace.